It's Shalom, Shalom. Akim, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Kakadash. The water Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Kakadash, we're giving us truth. You know, double honor to our apostles and elders, the great Muslim who rule well and taught us the truth according to the Bible. And Shalom to all the brothers out there, dealt the four cones of earth, pushing this word in our righteousness and sincerity. Shalom. But look at Zappa from James Raleigh, North Carolina, come back with another quick lesson. Through the spirit and power, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. And uh, hey, man, as you see on the screen, another GMS newspaper. Hey, it says a uh, president of uh, Iran president elect takes hard line, refuses to meet Biden. OK, and this is a very big deal, man. OK, because we know that what Yahweh Bashim al Shai, who the world and he calls God and Jesus Christ is actually what making moves in the earth. OK, having plays set in the earth. All right. It says um, it says Dubai, United Arab uh, erates uh, AP. It says Iran's president elect staked it's like it's like staked out a hard line pos position Monday, and his first remarks since his landslide election victory, rejecting the possibility of meeting with President Joe Biden or negotiating. Tehran's ballistic missile program and support of regional militias. The comments by, I'm not even going to have to say his name, it says, offered a blunt preview of how Iran might deal with wider world, with the wider world in the next four years as it enters in a new stage of negotiations to resurrect its now a tattered 2015 nuclear deal with global powers okay so what you see that what the, the lord is having these uh nations rise up man okay you know they're acting and so of that they don't need the western powers america man okay you know the eu they, they don't need them man all right going to taking a hard stance against babylon the great man okay you know and the Lord, man, the Lord is doing this all, man. Okay. Yeah, how about Shimon Shai, the one because God and Jesus Christ is making moves on the earth. So let's get some scriptures. All right. Let's see. All right. Let's get this. This is the book of Isaiah. Slakia. Thirteen and uh let's see Slack you Yep Verse four it says the noise of a of a multitude in the mountains. Now the mountains represent his governments, okay? It says like as a great people, a tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of nations gathered together, Yahweh of hosts mustereth the host of the battle. Now you look at the word muster from means to instigate, to provide, to uh to cause uh strife between. Okay, Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. All right, it says Lord of hosts. Right, that means what the the God of armies, the Lord of armies, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. All right, is is instigating what the 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 host of the battle, man? What the armies of this battle and that battle is about that World War Three, okay? All right, so you you got all these uh, nations and, and kingdoms about to go down to the Valley of Jehoshaphat or Yahweh Shapat, the Lord's judgment, and what they're gonna battle, okay? The Lord's gonna have them fight, and in the midst of that, our Lord Yahweh is gonna return. But World War Three is on the rise, and the Lord is doing it. All right, and verse five it says they shall. It says they come from a far country, from the end of heaven, even Yahweh, and the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land. That's talking about the ice beam thermonuclear missiles, because we just read that what that Iran didn't talk to America about this what ballistic missile system, okay, program that they uh that they've been wanting to run, okay, and this is all the Lord doing this man, because as scripture say, the heart of the king, okay, is good. Is in the Lord's hands. All right. I believe that's Proverbs 21. Let's get that. 
uh, Proverbs. Yep, Proverbs 21 and 1, it says, The king's heart, meaning the king's mind, the Hebrew word for heart is law, which means your mind. Okay? It says, The king's heart is in the hand of Yahweh. Okay? All right? So, Yahweh Bashim Shai controls these king's minds. Okay? All right, whatever, it is, like this, uh, this, uh, what's his name? Um, this, uh, leader in Iran, the new president elect. For him to refuse to meet Biden, that was the Lord that did that. Okay, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai made him uh, make that hard position. Okay, I go back. It says, "As the rivers of water, he turneth wheresoever he will." All right, so Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right, is what is the one that's controlling the whole game. Okay, and we know this. All right, but these people they're clueless. They don't know what's really going on. But we know that Yahweh Bashim al Shai at the end of the day is controlling all things. Okay. It says, verse 2 Every way of a man is right in his own eyes, but Yahweh pondereth the hearts. Okay. I mean, the minds, you know. All right. So, every way, this man's way, the what, the leader of Iran, he said, he thought his way was right to go up against America like that, to take that hard position, that hard stance. Okay. You know, but the Lord is the one that is controlling the mind at the end of the day. Okay, all right. What's what's this? Uh, what does scripture say? Uh, um, matter of fact, let's get it. Uh, let's see. Let's see. You know, it's like I can might feel a little stuffed right now, but hey, it's all right though. Uh, here we go. This is Proverbs twenty and twenty four. Thank you. It says, "Man's goings are of the Lord." All right. So, man's goings, whatever man does, is of Yahweh by Shmuel Shai. It says, "How can a man then understand his own way?" All right. So, Yahweh by Shmuel Shai just made made it clear. That he controls the king's minds and that he controls man's going. So man's actions on this earth. All right. So everything that we're seeing in the news, man. Okay. Going back to, you know, the uh, <clears throat> these leaders and the way they're positioning themselves in, in the World War Three. Yeah. How about Shemel Shai is doing this and he's what instigating the, uh, the, uh, the host of the battle. Okay. You know, the Lord is doing this. Okay. All right. So just in case you didn't know, Yahweh Bashim al Shai is the one that's what causing all these things on this planet to happen, especially with the world leaders at the time. And it's all for the elect's sake, right? Okay. All right. Because we see that the what time is speeding up and things are happening quickly, and it's all for the elect's sake. Let's get that. Let's sake. Lord's will be a part of the elect. The Lord's doing this for us, man. All right. He's coming back quickly for us, man. Okay. Let's see. This is Matthew 24 and 22. It says, and except those days be shortened. This is Lord Yahweh Shai speaking, by the way. Red letter. Okay. Our Lord and Savior. And it says, except those days should be shortened, there shall no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. And we're witnessing that right now. These days are being shortened. And Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is having mercy upon his elect. Okay. All right. They're getting themselves right. You know, praying, constantly praying, watching, seeing the times that we're living in right now. Because we know, according to the scriptures, the Lord is on his way back with vengeance. All right. And that he's only going to have pity or mercy on his elect of the nation of Israel. So with that, hope this lesson was edifying to the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. I to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Kakadash. Double honors to my apostles, the elders, the great most of who rule well and tell me the truth according to the Bible. And shalom to all the brothers out there, the other four corners of the earth, pushing this word in our righteousness and sincerity. Until next time, say shalom.